Jim from JJ Hat Center. I don't know what we're going to talk about today. I think we're going to talk a little bit about uh, deepening the crown on your western hats because I know a lot of you guys got to open roads and ranches and things with cattle increases and you just hit the roof and sometimes you hit these little things here on your western hats. The pinches get little little balls because your head sticks it, right? It, basically your head is not is your head's too deep for the hat so you need more space here and you need more space here but you don't have it uh, so we're gonna call this uh, I guess we're gonna call this how to deepen your felt hat all by yourself and uh, to continue the tradition of trying to sing a song I've never sang before uh, I'm kind of like not a singer anyway I'm more of a guitar player so I guess by the end of the year uh, you know, we'll do a few hundred of these songs. I'll probably be a singer by then. So, you know, bear with me. I'm, I'm practicing. You know. <laughs> Thank you. 
that's uh, I don't know what I'll give that. That was something like a a, a C, B minus. Let me see, B minus for style, C for C for effort. Um, all right, I'm going to talk now about um, when you get a Western hat. The felt is so hard that if I'm going to turn the amp off now, should I turn on the standby maybe? Yeah, standby. All right. When you hit the top, you know, when, you're, when you hit the top on a dress hat like this, a really soft hat, the felt is so soft that it moves like this. It takes the shape of your head, it gets out of the way, it makes a little bubble thing. Now, when you're dealing with a Stetson Western hat, a resistor, or whatever, a palm hat, anything hard, when your head needs more depth than just, just that, it hits it and it just hits it and there's it's like hitting a wall and you just it just stays up on the top of your head like this instead of going down here where it belongs because the hat is hard the felt is thick and hard as a lot of stiffener on it okay no thick and hard jokes all right mind out of the gutter um so the idea is instead of your head just pushing it out of the way naturally like a soft dress hat we're going to take this and we're going to raise it by softening it with steam. First thing we do is we're going to hit this area with hot steam, only here in the middle, not the outside, not that perimeter, just this center. Hit it with hot steam, get it nice and hot. Let's say if you're using a kettle, you'll have to sit there for, I don't know, four or five minutes maybe? No, nah, maybe maybe three minutes or something. If you're using an actual steamer or something a little bit better, you know, we're only dealing with like maybe 30 seconds of steam. And if you're using a really good steamer, like, you know, whatever, it could be just a few seconds, you know, like five seconds, 10 seconds or something. But generally the idea is that you want this area to get real soft so it's not like, you know, hard. It's more like, like this, soft. What happens when you hit it, it's going to temporarily soften up, but it's going to be very hard. I mean, it's going to be very, very hot, okay? So what you're going to do is you want to manipulate it from the inside, okay? Manipulate it, and while it's, uh, while it's soft. So the first thing we're going to do, let's say, okay, here's your cattleman crease. It's kind of like this or something, all right? You're going to hit this area right here. It's hard as a rock. Hit it with steam. We're hitting it, we're trying to get it all in there. Okay, it's softening up. Now that it's soft, I very quickly take my fingers on the inside. See what I'm doing? See my finger? That little. Okay, I'm gonna raise it up. I'm making like a like this, a karate chop. And I'm gonna raise it from the inside while it's soft and hold it. So you you're making like a little hot dog inside there, in other words. Kind of like a you know an oblong oval. Alright. What you do is you hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it still while it cools. Give it whatever, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, hold it still. The best way to do it would be if you had some kind of a head-shaped object like a, a mannequin head or anything round like that. What you do is, you know, it's essentially just like putting it on your head. That part stays up without your hand pushing it and, uh, you know, while it's soft. And that's it. You just dry it. Now there are ways to do that, but it's going to be very tough. Most likely you're going to have to use your hands. So, okay, here's your calorie crease. Soften it up. Get your finger in there. Sometimes I use the side of a finger and I push it up like that. That's a good way to do it. Like that, see? That hot dog shape I'm making. So the idea is inside this crack here, you want as much of it to come up to give you as much depth as you can. Um, your head has to go inside a little oval head-shaped peak in there. So, the actual shape will be kind of like a dome, but inside of that skinny shape. So it's more like a kind of a long shape, almost like a hot dog type of a shape. And once you get that done, that's it. Um, you can let it cool for a second, and then just kind of redo it. Hit it again with some steam and then get your fingers in there and neaten up that shape. Raise it up, get it smooth. Um, there are other tricks, some people like to do this thing, well, I'm not gonna say some people, I do it. We turn it upside down and then you kind of press in that area, again, in that hot dog area. 
and you just kind of raise it, kind of like you're pressing it down onto the tabletop. Down, 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 down. It stops basically here, the table. So that's one way of doing it. You could poke it from the inside down, you know, soften it, flip it, bang. Um, I think the karate chop method is the best way. The idea is you just softening it, picking it up. You think you can't do it, you can do it. Um, I've talked at least to five people through this um, on emails, text, phone calls, and every single one of them were like, yeah, yeah, fix it, it was really easy. It was like so stupidly easy. I don't know what I was worried about. Um, you're not gonna damage your hat. Um, using steam on a good thick western hat, there's just nothing you're gonna do to mess it up. Don't worry about it. I want you to never steam on the inside. The only way you could damage a hat is if you steam this leather. So never let anybody steam inside a hat. That's just bull. Anybody who says, oh, I'm gonna sterilize it, sterilize the leather, is just like some punk who works at, like, you know, some teenager who knows nothing because uh, it'll burn the leather and basically sh shrink it into nothing. So if your leather is nice and new, hydrated, it won't. But if it's vintage leather or old or a little dehydrated, just one second of steam on it will turn it into beef jerky and it'll just like disappear. It turns crunchy like a, a raw hide bone kind. Um, it just crunches away and flakes away. So no steam on the leather sweatband inside. The other thing is you have a leather band here. Uh, let's say you're wearing a nice cowboy hat and it has a beautiful ornate leather band. Steaming that leather band is gonna mess it up. It's gonna put like a cloudiness on it and just screw it up. And then you're gonna have to start getting like leather conditioner and rubbing it in and stuff and trying to fix that. And in reality, you're supposed to unsew it and take it off and then condition it and sew it back on. And you're gonna start getting leather conditioner cream all over your felt and messing that up. Now your hat's screwed up too. So just don't put steam on that belt. If you have a leather uh, um, hat band on the outside, don't steam it. Um, you can't. You're just going to ruin it. You'll take the finish off it. Also, coconut straws. Anybody who owns a, co a coconut, a telecoco, a coconut classic, anything made of coconut, you cannot steam them. Steaming it is going to basically take the finish off it. It makes it get all like sort of milky white and dull, and it takes the gloss finish off it. I don't know why, but those hats you can't steam either. Um, don't do it. Yeah, don't do it. Um, a lot of hats I don't like to steam. You know, like uh, fur felt um, travel hats, those really thin, thin hats. Um, anything that's super thin with a raw edge, the, the brims can curl. They curl into the square position. They do this like weird square, like points. Um, Anybody who works for Stetson knows what I'm talking about because there's a couple of very thin felt hats that do that. Um, and, you know, there have been issues trying to fix it, but uh, it's just basically physics. Any hat that's very, very, very thin with a raw edge, um, no stiffener on it, meant to be soft and rollable and fur felt, all those things. No leather sweatband, no reed, nothing for structure. It's going to just curl. Um, it's essentially, it's the stiffener that's keeping your hat in place, really. That's what it is. Um, the hat's not stiff. It's got to be just royal, royal, beautiful quality felt, um, which costs money, lots of money. Um, I don't mean like $200 money. So if you're going to do a raw edge, a big brim, thin felt, soft felt, all those factors, you can equal a curling hat. I recommend don't do all those things. If you're gonna do it, get one that's a little stiffer, or just don't get a raw edge. Get you know, get a uh, bound edge or a welted edge. It'll help. Uh, that's about it. This is a really simple lesson. There was much, much, much to say on the subject. So I thought, and then I got here and uh, basically said, yeah, you know, steam this area, push it up. You know, the other thing you might want to do is here in an open road. You know, you've got this cattleman crease thing. A lot of people get these little circles here that their skull just pushes it. You know what I'm talking about. You've seen these little dots. Um, it's basically you just bottoming out on the hat because the little pinches are too thin. So, um... Okay, so anyway, uh, 
just going to uh, finish up. I'm going to play you guys out. Um, now it's just my son who wants to know if I want something from Shake Shack. Um, so I'm going to finish up the video right now. It's the same thing for over here. You just steam it on the outside, push it in from the out, from, you know, and you got more depth. I mean, there's no way to get rid of those things. You're going to need the depth, so that's kind of futile. Just let it happen, I guess, you know? Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, let me see if I could do another song for you on the way out. Yeah, let's try it. Lyrics. I'm going to get the lyrics to... No. Shoe. Strings. And Louise. Let's try this Elton John song. Let's see if I could sing it. This is one I've never tried. Lady love, lies a big black hat. Buys the whole down the shore. So we'll skip the shake for Kevin from J.J. Hatsy. Yeah. 